Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the triumph of return of Texas. The psychic horse who knows what your pets are thinking. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Texas is storming back into town on a on the back of an even bigger horse with a massive ten gallon hat and a shotgun. What's Texas got to say this week? Well, I think this is going to be a story which will be right up Michael Bell's alley. Oh yeah. Lich, I think Lich that Lich? he's going to get a lot of joy out of this. A lot, a lot of joy. A lot of, right. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, don't. That's sad. Okay, this week's story comes in from... Yep. Kara Wormsley. Careful reading. In Lancashire. Lancaster. Lancaster. No, La- Lancaster. 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 Black, Blackpool. 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 Hold on. No, 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 yeah, no. that kind is of it, Is it Lancashire or Lancaster. It's Lancashire. Okay, so there's a shire in that word. Doesn't have to be Blackpool then. It's by the tower. Fine. Well, it's in Blackburn, if that narrows it down a little bit. Well, yeah, it's not fucking Blackpool then, is it? It's Blackburn. Well, it should be. That's the best place in Lancashire. All the bees. The important thing is she has a problem, and it's related to her cat. Problem. Cat. Zoid. What's wrong? Dear Texas, my cat, Milo, (laughs) moved in with me four years ago. Milo the cat? Grow up. He seems to try a few houses in the neighbourhood before settling on mine. What? So we got a stray cat. It's a stolen cat. She's decided to. She said, "My cat, Milo." Well, it is, it is now. It was a stolen cat. Now it's hers. Well, I think it's more of a cat has. I think it's more of a case that the cat has decided that this is, will be my home the cat, because it's latest. The cat hat. doesn't decide. The cat doesn't wear a hat. You don't get cat it, hats. It does. What? Wherever Milo lays his his hat, it makes him his house yeah Kara continues he's a big boy hey, so I put him on... good man good man that a fella so I've put him on a special food oh, I've put him on special food to help him slim how can he be fat he's a homeless cat that's what cats do cats go around go door to door says, oh look at me I'm a cute cat meow give me some food meow Ach- and people actually, are this is this is a really good point I uh, there was a there's a cat cat uh, incident the other day where I heard of yes. a cat that had two breakfasts all because it played what? It played the owner it came down in the morning someone fed the cat and then the owner comes down and the cat's like hey I've not been fed look at me I'm cute and then um, f- d- double feeding that's how Grax gets his breakfast as well <laughs> goes, up to the go- goes up to the girlfriend what do you mean yeah. you've already had a croissant I haven't had a croissant look at me oh. Mal. <laughs> then you get some extra cereal mm. <laughs> crunchy and some coffee on the side he's a big boy so I've put him on a special food to help him slim what can you pick up about his diet you can barely pick him up at all he's fat and why did he choose me to be his new owner so owner steals fat cat why has cat decided to come to me that's it. Why has the cat decided to come to me, and why is he so fucking fat? At least he's not dead. Texas had a word with Milo, All right? And Texas says, <laughs> "Of course he has." Kara, yeah. you and Milo shared a past life in ancient Egypt. <laughs> Great start. Oh, this is bullshit. <clears throat> he was bred for sacrifice. What? He was bred for sacrifice. Oh, yeah, sacrifice cats, that's well known. The fatter, the better. That's not true. They, they, they bloody loved cats in ancient Egypt. I've seen them on all those pyramids. They have like pictures and hieroglyphics they and all that kind of stuff cats. dedicated to. That's cats. what. Yeah. That's what you think. You, you don't know what they mean. You, you can't read yeah. hieroglyphics. What I'm actually saying is, we want to sacrifice cats. The fatter, the better. Please, we hate cats. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, wow. God damn you, Ra. Anyways, he was bred for sacrifice, but you <laughs> saved him from harm, and he's been grateful for you and your kindness ever since. But, were they companions in Egypt? It sounds like they were on the same level. So what you're saying is she saved somehow saved this cat from sacrifice. That's right. That's what you're saying. Okay. That's exactly what Texas is saying right here. So ain't back then Milo was tabby coloured and slim. He's overweight now because he had worms, which damaged his digestive tract. Do worms make you fat? Sure, I thought that I thought that ate away everything inside you. No, it's those it's those it's those um it's jelly worms, jelly worms. Ah, uh, yeah, you went on the Haribo. 
Yeah, he's been on the Haribo, yep. Well, everybody loves it, so. They do. Just great even, kids even and grown Even cats. Uh, kids and grown-ups, I, yes. I didn't know they had Haribo in ancient Egypt. They had it all. Check out the walls. They, had every, they made everything. Bloody hell, they, they invented. They invented the podcast. Stop being so naive. They they had it all. They Not they really. had Haribo. They had Mackey D's. They they even oh. had Nando's. And but they, they actually sacrificed up. any they, they sacrificed anybody called it cheeky Nando's. Just head chopped off straight away. <laughs> oh. Which is a policy I think should come back. I think hashtag cheeky Nando's people should be fired at will. Just shot <laughs> back of the head. Done. And then and then turned into Nando's. Yeah. Just uh, just, like yeah, just think yeah. a straight chop the head off. Done. The Egyptians, the Egyptians invented cups. They invented the Vauxhall uh, Astra. They invented, yeah, they invented hieroglyphics. They invented the uh, pyramid tea bag. They, they invented monkeys. The Egyptians have got an awful lot going for them. They invented the Antiques Roadshow, the BBC. A sense of the stain. Yeah, they they were they were hopeful as a as a race. They weren't at all racist. They were very hard working. They they put they had a lot of very good holidays, very good benefits if you're a top top level Egyptian. Uh, it wasn't so good if you're a slave. They invented a walking style. Yeah, they de- they developed water. They brought us the wheel. They provided the we. You know, there's lots of things that the Egyptians are responsible for. Oh, taxi drivers, taxi drivers, Egyptian carpets. Tables, Mexico, wow. all of this is Egyptian. I had, I had no idea that he, ancient Egypt. You want to, you uh, want to brush up on your old studies, mate. I clearly I do. Yeah. He's got on Wikipedia. Yeah, <laughs> he's overweight. Uh, he's overweight now because he had worms, which damaged his digestive tract. This prevented him from absorbing enough nutrients, so he overate to compensate. So basically. I, I, I could just go to my girlfriend and I say, nah, baby, nah, baby, I, I'm not overweight. I've just got worms. We just di- 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 damaged my digestive tract. I was going to say, she would kick you out faster than you can say, no, I meant Haribo. She would put, she yeah. would put you down in five minutes. Oh. Oh, she's got that crossbow, so you don't want to mess with her. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, Texas finishes off by saying, mm. a natural diet will make it easier for him to get his nutrients that he needs. What's a natural diet? Like mice. Grass, probably, in, in Cat's case. What does Kara say to all this? I've always been fascinated by ancient Egyptian history. Mm, coincidence. <laughs> I studied it in college, and my house is filled with ornaments inspired by that period. It's shite. Inspired. Well, that's, that's a good luck, isn't it? T- typical Blackburn. I even have a book of ancient Egyptian Whoa, spells to perform on cats. That's a coincidence and a half. Yeah, that's scary. It's almost... Ah, that's right. I even have a spell books. And know that some of them were bred. They were bred for sacrifice. Told you. Milo eats diet biscuits. <laughs> but he's still twice the weight he should be. That fat fuck. <laughs> I'll take Holly's advice on board. Wait, Holly's Holly? advice? Oh, no, no, this is Texas no. advice. It's not Holly's advice, it's Texas, straight from the horse's mouth. This is Texas advice. Holly's the one's writing it, so, you know, it's kind of well, catchy. She, take, she takes partial credit. It's some intern, Wait, really. no, 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 what, no. What, actually, Grax, what's the, what's the picture? Because I'm starting to think this is a bit too, this is a bit too, um, too a much picture. of a coincidence. Quink, 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 okay. Quinky dink, if you were. It's the picture of, Mar- of Milo, 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 Marion on, a, on, on like a big statue of a sphinx or something like that. So it know so Texas knows that it's all about e- Egypty stuff. No, it looks like Milo's a bit high. He's got one red eye, and he's looking a bit. P- uh... Pink eye is is a thing in cats, right? No, not that I'm aware of. So it's a fat cat. It's fat cat. Don't fi- don't feed it. It's, it's got gravy. worms. Diet. And that's the end of that chapter. And that's how Texas does it. Not Holly, Texas. Well, thanks, uh, Grax, for translating uh, in using uh, your reading skills, your eyes. My pleasure. Thanks for that. That's, um, that's Texas, the psychic f- horse. <laughs>